President Moon Jae-in is only two weeks into his five-year term, but questions are already emerging about how his administration plans to deal with North Korea. He has pledged to reach out to the regime, but with the, will that really be possible? With Kim Jong-un, uh, he seems so intent to be launching missile after missile. Our Gwon Jung-ho takes a closer look. Amid talks of the UN Security Council introducing further sanctions on North Korea, the international community is stepping up its own actions against the rogue state. According to Japanese newspaper Yomiuri Shimbun on Tuesday, Tokyo is reportedly reviewing plans to carry out secondary boycotts on any foreign companies or financial institutions that deal with the regime, with a particular focus on China, which accounts for around 90% of all North Korea's foreign trade. In order to curb North Korea's nuclear and missile programs, we believe it's important to curtail Pyongyang's foreign currency revenues and to block the freight shipments and the transfer of technology related to nuclear weapon development. But China could argue that it's already doing its part. Government figures on Tuesday showed that imports from North Korea in April dipped below the $100 million mark, the lowest in almost three years. This comes after China effectively banned all coal imports from the regime back in March. Beijing has also said it will continue to support UN sanctions. Our relevant measures completely prove that China is faithfully fulfilling UN resolutions. This is our international obligation as a responsible member of the international community and permanent member of the UN Security Council. Meanwhile, Russia has also reportedly banned all exports of luxury goods to the regime. According to Radio Free Asia, Russia added sports and recreational products, including yachts, snowmobiles and crystal glassware, to a list of banned items in a sanctioned status report to the UN earlier this month. However, one voice that is currently missing in its plans for the North Korean regime is that of South Korea. President Moon Jae-in is currently busy filling key government positions, but much interest will be on what he does next. He has promised pressure and sanctions, but unlike the previous administration, he has also stressed the need for dialogue, and the international community will be watching how that parallel approach manifests into action. Kwon Jae-won, Arirang News.